What's up guys? Today I'm walking you all through a Facebook business page 101 for the contracting industry. You see it all the time where people are thinking that they're helping themselves on Facebook, but in reality, they're actually hurting the brand and stopping prospects from calling. So I'll walk you through top five things that you need to do today to make sure your Facebook page is set up for success. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Logan with Contractor Growth Network, and today is all about the Facebook business page, specifically for the contracting industry. What I see happen all the time is, first off, people don't smash the like button on these YouTube videos. And when you smash the like button, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. So go ahead right now, just smash that like button. It really helps us out. And let's dive in. Facebook business pages. What contractors specifically do a lot of, and, and it's not just them, but it, the industry, you know, businesses as a whole, we love to just talk about how great we are and promote ourselves, right? What we do is we do tons and tons of, hey, call now, we're the best remodeling company out there. Hey, we're the number one restaurant as far as taste goes or whatever it is, but we chewed our own horn so much that people get sick of it. It's very similar to when somebody that you see pulls out their phone and says, look at all these pictures of my kids. Look, dude, I got a cat. Like if you want me to pull out all the cat pictures, I can, but put that shit away. When you do that on Facebook, where you're talking about how great you are all the time, and you're always saying, hey, call us, call us, well, it creates a negative effect on people. And they go, well, I'm not going to call them because if I call them, the first thing they're going to try to do is immediately sell me. And guess what people hate to be done or had to? Guess what people hate? Edit that part out. So I want to walk through some of the basics of the Facebook page and how to set it up correctly so that way you're good to go. And these are all things that we talk about in the Blueprint program. So I'm going to go in the basics of this one. But if you actually want to go deeper and deeper into how to set some of the stuff up specifically and what to say, that's the blueprint. So let's go ahead and jump on into the business page. So this is just a pond, uh, Facebook page, it's my dad's company actually. So I'll walk you through how we do all this stuff. So first off, going from top to bottom, uh, the logo, right? We have a logo as our small image right there. The reason that we do that is because that's like the first thing. So when people are searching and it shows up in uh, in Facebook, like the different search functions. So if I show you, I don't know, pond, right? It's the different logos right there. And it makes it a little bit more personal or a little bit more brand specific. So I would suggest putting your logo right there, but if nothing else, put like a really pretty picture, right? But I would still go for logo first and just understand that with your logo, it's going to be a circle. So if it's cut off, then it's not going to look great. So make sure that you size it up correctly. All right, and you can play with this stuff because it allows you to shift it all around. Make sure your logo is there. On the other side, you have your uh, banner image, your background image. Put something that's representative of your work there. All right, so you can put a picture, you can put a video. We put a video up here because with ponds, the, the, it's not like a kitchen where it's static, it's a moving thing. So I would highly suggest if you have something like that, maybe if you're a landscaper and you have a nice picture of like flowers blowing in the wind, put something back there, all right? How often should you be updating this? I would keep the logo the same, but the background image, maybe every like six months or so, just to change it up and, and do something new. You can make it more seasonal, so it's more appropriate at the time, but you know, put something there that you're proud of that represents your company as a whole. All right, let's go ahead and scroll on down. The next thing that we need to be talking about is the contact information. So a lot of contractors don't have their contact information here. And what I mean by contact information, I mean your address, your website, if you've got one, your phone number, all in all, it's just not filled out. So if somebody is looking to talk to you or to hire you, there's no way for them to know, you know, like, how do I get a hold of you or how do I contact you? So make sure this is fully filled out and even put in there the address. And here's why. When you put an address in there, this is another way that you're telling Google so when somebody goes to Google and searches for a pond company, this is another way to tell Google, hey, here's our address. We're a legit business. So Google says, well, that address is on Facebook as well. So we're more likely to show it. So what we want to do is make sure you have your address in there. I would highly suggest doing it. We put it out there publicly because there's not too many people that show up at my dad's house looking for a pond. So it's never really been an issue. Um, and funny enough, the people that have shown up, ended up buying a pond because they saw how great it is. So um, put your address out there if you're comfortable doing that. And then one little pro tip, which is number three, don't use a PO box because Google does not recognize that as a real business location. So if you're using a PO box as your, your main 
mailing address, that's fine. But if you can put your real address in there, that's going to help you out immensely because otherwise, if you don't have a real business location, Google thinks that you're less trustworthy because you're not a real brick and mortar brand, things like that. So if you got a PO box, try your best not to use it, try to use a real one. But as long as it's consistent with Google and whatever you have on your Google business listing, you should be good to go. All right, last but not least is gonna be your about us section. So your about us section is where you actually fill out your information, but also fill out the, uh, the basics of it, right? When you go in, people wanna know what you're all about. We don't do like, there's a bunch of other stuff that we should be doing, like the founding day and some more that I can't pronounce, so it's like impress them. But in the very least, just have a basic what you do in the about us because it says premier ponds. It should be obvious, but a lot of times with GCs, what happens is they will say, oh yeah, we're a general contracting company. Well, the common homeowner doesn't know if that's gonna be commercial construction or if that's gonna be handyman work because GC is a blanket term. So fill out in there what specifically you do. So it's way easier for people to understand, oh, this is exactly what they're doing. So you're not getting uh, calls and leads for projects that are way out of your scope, either too big or too small. So fill that out and that'll help you out as well as far as the quality of people coming in from Facebook. So those are your top five. Uh, if you wanna learn more about what should you actually be putting in there, like how should you phrase the About Us section, um, the exact address information that should be put in there because there is a bit of a science to the exact address being put into Facebook, that's all part of the blueprint. So if you wanna learn more, go ahead, check out contractorgrowthnetwork.com. But for right now, make sure in the very least, you have already smashed the like button and you have these five things done. So pictures at the top, your overall um, address for everything, no PO boxes, make sure that you have an about us section and last but not least, post. And that's it. Thanks guys.